The Sky 01 has been through multiple iterations, from the original PS2 to the expanded PSP release which brought additional content, to the Nintendo DS version that cut content but added some different content in return, to the recent PC version that merges the two handheld versions with some visual flair, now to the PS4 and Switch version that is mainly a port of the PC version. The story of Disgaea is incredibly wacky, funny, and to this day can still be considered pretty original due to all the craziness that goes on alongside of it. To make a long story short, the Overlord of the Netherland has died due to unnatural causes. Laurel, his son, wakes up from a two-year slumber discovering what happened and must now claim what is rightfully his. Keep in mind, how you play the game will affect the ending that you get. Just like the PSP version onward, once you've beaten the main game, you'll have access to Etna mode. For those unfamiliar, in this mode, just as the name implies, you play as Etna, a demon that's been trying to wake up Laurel for the past two years to tell him about his father's untimely demise. In this mode, however, Etna is the main character as she accidentally kills Laurel trying to wake him up. Oops. Disgaea is an SRPG, plain and simple. Battle areas are tile-based, you and your opponents move from tile to tile, and if you're in range, you can attack each other. However, the difference between Disgaea and other SRPGs is that Disgaea has systems within its own systems. It's essentially the genre on steroids, and it's amazing for it. This is how it all breaks down. As any typical RPG, defeating enemies grant experience points. But with Disgaea, any skills you can learn can also level up from constant use. Once they've leveled up enough, you may learn a new skill. Or, like in the case of the basic magic skills, they can go from single target to area of effect skills, allowing for many different types of strategy for to use out in the field. It's not just you and your skills that can level up either. You can level up your equipment and items as well. The item world is where you'll be spending the majority of your time in this game due to the complete randomness of each level. Regardless, as you go through the floors of each item, the stronger they'll get. If you can't afford a new item, this is certainly an avenue for you to go down to be able to unlock it. On the same note, if you do want to buy cheaper or more expensive items, you can lobby for that in the Dark Assembly. Here you can vote for more items in the shop or extort your local senators to get some money. If they don't agree with something, bribe them until they do. If the ruling still fails, then beat them into submission. But be careful doing the latter. You might be able to kill the guy in front of you, but the person next to him might be 40 levels above you. So pick your battles wisely. If anything, just try voting again and hoping those jerks aren't back. Outside of that, you can also create a character in the Dark Assembly, and you can even transmigrate yourself. What that means that you can go from level 999 to level 1, and then back to 999 again with better stats, like the insane person you are. As far as art and graphics go, everything has been touched up and is now HD. Meaning, if you played the PC version, there are some really minute differences, and that's about it. This is just really going through Disgaea 1 once more. All in all, if you've never played Disgaea while owning a PlayStation console, or if you're a Nintendo gamer that hasn't picked up Disgaea 5 on Switch because it's too manic, know that this game is a good place to start. Unfortunately, if you've already played Disgaea 5 on either console, this will really feel like a step backwards. It is always nice, however, to see how the series started for the sake of comparison. Disgaea Complete is an 8. While the game has overall aged like a fine wine, a typical port of a Disgaea game would have had the newest mechanics included from the latest entries. That isn't the case here, unfortunately. In this case, it's just severely outdated. As previously stated, that can be seen as a net positive to get new players into the series, but overall it can bog it down. And that does it for our review of the Sky 01 Complete. To see the written review, be sure to check out our website, GamingGamma.com. A link to that review will be provided down in the description below. Also, if you have any questions for me about the game or the review, by all means leave them down in the comments section below. I would love to hear from you. Also, let us know if you're going to be picking up the Sky 01 Complete or even checking out the Sky 5 Complete right after this. If you're new to my channel, find me for the first time through this review. Hey, be sure to subscribe for future reviews, commentaries, let's plays, and more. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching.